Okay, so if we're looking at the options available in slick tyres, and obviously there's different compounds, but for a start I just want to talk about tyre width. And is this just simply a case of more is better, get the biggest slick tyre we can under the car or is there a little bit more to consider? Uh, not necessarily, Some, sometimes you can over grip the car and you see this many times where, where people sort of say oh, I need this 285, 300, blah blah blah, but in actual fact the car's producing so much, so much power but it probably only needs a 250 sort of tyre. Um, and so, like I said, you can over grip the car and what it does, it turns it into more of a go-kart so there's no feel to the car and that sort of thing. So you could go back to a, to a smaller tyre and the car almost comes to life because cause all of a sudden you've got feeling in the car and you know what's going on. So this is more about the, the driver being actually able to feel through the steering for example, whether we've got understeer, whether we've got grip compared to a, a larger tyre? Yeah, correct.